of the things about the hypertext sculptures that I make is that they're created from familiar and common objects, but they're transformed in such a way that I hope they have a feeling of kind of enchantment. They're certainly not perfect, but my work has a, has a wobble and a wiggle, and it's, it's very handmade. There's something kind of magnetic about these hypertexts that people are attracted to because they're so unreasonable. And you can see the amount of time that goes into creating them, and time actually is value. When people see these sculptures, they, they kind of appreciate them in some way because they are reasonably fastidious and completely ridiculous. My name is Stephen Doyle, and I'm designing the Spring 2017 SVA Subway Posters. When I was a child, I had a babysitter who would come to our house, and one of the activities that we would do to amuse ourselves was to read the newspaper, but to read it from left to right, out of sequence. And I had no idea that that Dada thinking at the time would come back and influence me years later with the creation of hypertexts where the language bleeds into other language without logical sequence. I thought long and hard about what kind of message I wanted to convey because this was a real opportunity to get some ideas out there in the public. And I realized I wanted to illustrate the idea of uh, art defying gravity, art defying logic, and art defying expectations. The cool thing about designing a poster for the New York City subway system is I think that the poster has to work when you're standing on the other platform looking across the tracks. There's got to be some kind of magnetism there uh, to make that work. What I'm excited about this series of posters is they were designed to talk to each other. One has the image at the bottom, one has the image in the center, and the other image tends to float to the top. So they were designed as a, as a kind of a triptych. I thought it was really important that the stories be tied to the larger world context. In addition to the images there, which are kind of mysterious and I hope they're magnetic, I've also written a story on each one in quite small type so that when somebody's waiting for the uptown train, they have a chance to read about it and reflect in the hope that it gives a little more dimension to the poster. But what I think is really cool uh, is that the lady that does the cleaning here is going to see the posters on her way into work, and the guy that cuts my hair, uh, and my sister-in-law. I'm trying to instill a little bit of enchantment in these posters for people who might not have given art or SVA a second thought.